Hi, my name's Andy Fisher. We've designed and conceptualized Tark Kalaisa, a new take on high-rise living in the center of Delhi. It was a really interesting journey from the beginning, from meeting the team, seeing the opportunity. But the most fascinating thing to me was seeing where the company was at and what, um, what we needed to create in terms of its image, its brand, what was so important, it was so important to the company that we had to, it wasn't just designing the project on its own. It had to fit the identity of the company as well as fitting into the place and fitting into the market. So that whole journey was really, really fascinating. We are aiming for a high level of sustainability in terms of the category and rating that we will achieve. That's also a given as a responsible developer, designers, we have to always, in all of our projects, we have to make sure that materially we are, we are being as friendly as we can in that sense. But it's more than that, I think. It's um, the journey of the part of our involvement in this project is actually very small in the life cycle of the project itself. People will occupy, people will make it their home. So um, making sure that community, making sure that we can um, offer flexibility in the way people will grow and change uh, to adapt into our development and, and not just have it sort of preordained and fixed as one thing. Uh, so that's a sustainable community that we're also looking at. Obviously, in terms of the basic things, the waste management, all of those things, that's a given. We shouldn't almost need to talk about those. We need to talk about how we can, you know, um, over a longer term, make the project sustainable as well and how people live sustainably within that environment. When we're designing such complex uh, towers and blocks, there's always an opportunity to um, have what we term often as sort of free spaces, uh, roof terraces, areas that we can, we can accommodate and we can use, we can occupy. We didn't, in this case, centralize a clubhouse. As part of the aim to make a sustainable community, we wanted to make sure that people would walk around the site and that the facilities, the amenities we provide are located within the buildings at different levels. So we have this level, this grading up through the buildings of opportunity where people can gather, entertain, relax, exercise. There are many, many areas all the way up through the building. Um, to us, it, it helps um, create opportunity for people to meet and greet. Normally living in high rise can be a bit isolating. I go from car, I go to lift, I go to apartment and I don't see anybody. So this way we can spread people around, we can get them to casually, occasionally meet and bump into each other and help sort of encourage that sense of community. So the building and the facilities that we have, which we don't, you know, it's not a clubhouse in that sense, we're spreading this 1,70,000 um, you know, um, square feet over the entire, the entire development. Again, the top of the buildings are always a great opportunity. We should be celebrating this. Um, we're very lucky and you know, for the lucky people who'll be up there as well. For instance, one of the penthouses, we've taken the triplex. Instead of arriving at the bottom and working your way up, we actually said, let's arrive in the middle. Uh, so we arrive in the living spaces. The quiet spaces are down below. The noisier spaces are up above. So we can separate the family from the, you know, the entertainment and the fun that goes on within the family, family home. So it's really offering a different take in that sense, how we use those, those multiple levels. Um, the other penthouses are simplexes. It's rare to get a simplex of the size that we're creating in terms of a, a home. Uh, so that's spread out naturally on one level across, um, across the top of the towers. So it offers a slightly different take from the norm.